For many, many years, our Earth has existed in an energy balance, which has helped maintain a stable climate. And scientists think that that's now being threatened. But before we look at our planet, let's first consider a simple planet with just a surface and no atmosphere. Solar radiation comes in from the sun. And what happens? Radiation is emitted from the planet. Why does the planet emit radiation? Because it has a temperature. And so the emission follows this formula as long as we assume that the surface is a black body. Okay, the incoming and outgoing intensities are balanced. And the reason we know is because the planet's surface has a constant temperature. It is in equilibrium. Now let's take a more complicated case where there's a surface and an atmosphere. So solar radiation comes in, but some of that is transmitted, and the rest is reflected off the atmosphere. The surface, again, emits radiation. Let's take away these labels and put in some, uh, some values. The incoming intensity is I. The amount that reflects off is alpha times I. And alpha is just a decimal called the albedo. It represents what fraction or percentage of intensity the atmosphere reflects. So if the atmosphere is really, 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 really reflective, albedo will be almost 1. But if the atmosphere reflects nothing, the albedo would be nearly 0. Let's say the albedo is 30% or 0.3. How much gets through down here? 0.7 or 1 minus the albedo times the original intensity. Just like before, the planet's surface emits radiation based on its temperature, and we can assume the surface is a black body. The incoming intensity that goes into the surface equals the outgoing intensity that is leaving the surface. Why? Because the surface is in equilibrium. It has a constant temperature. If there's more going in, the surface heats up. If there's more exiting, the surface cools off. But right now, we're assuming a constant temperature. OK, so what's going in? What's striking the surface? This is what actually makes it into the surface. And what's going out? This. But the picture is actually not this simple. Here's the surface, here's the atmosphere, and here's what's really happening. Intensity comes in from the sun. That radiation has an intensity I. Sum is reflected. That's equal to the albedo times the original amount I. How much gets through? 1 minus alpha times the intensity I. Now the planet surface, as before, does emit radiation based on its temperature. But so does the atmosphere. The atmosphere has some temperature. And so it emits radiation, and much of that radiation goes down toward the surface. We can calculate this radiation using the same formula. We just have to add in the emissivity, because the atmosphere definitely is not a black body, the way that we can assume the planet surface to be. So now we have a more realistic picture. When we balance this, the radiation going into the surface, with the radiation leaving from the surface, what do we have? There are two sources going in. This intensity strikes the surface, and that uh, radiation strikes the surface. And what's the radiation leaving? It's this. This is called an energy balance climate model because we can use it to calculate the temperature of the planet's surface.